welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. I hope that you guys are doing well. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Um, if at any time, Leo, you find that you resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit that uh, like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. We're going to jump into my blessing and prayer. Um, any questions you have about me, any information is going to be on my website. Link is in the description box below. Also, you can use the code YouTube and receive 15% off of your purchase. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, my blessing and my prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you. Father God, divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Leo in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher wisdom and knowledge into what karmic cycles, soul lessons, and generational curses Leo may currently be dealing with, about to deal with, need to become aware of, learn from, heal from, and release. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am, and all that I do, I strive to live by your word and your word alone. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Leo, there's, there, you, you're looking at someone very, very differently, like you see something in a whole different light. So the mask came off of someone, that's, that's what Spirit is showing me. Let's see your messages, please, for Leo. You have liberated witch, knowledge from beyond, interpretation, fortune, and chance. Yeah, you've recently discovered something. You've been, you, you've recently discovered something, um, something that may have been blocking you in manifesting and creating what it was that you were trying to create in your life. Like you had a block uh, in, in moving forward, okay? Like, I feel like, there may have been some type of illusion around you or placed over you that was preventing you from interpreting the energy correctly, meaning you may have had an enemy around you who was trying to prevent you from seeing what they saw in you. Your luck is changing as well, fortune and chance. This knowledge is already inside of you. You just had to push through a certain level, a certain lesson in order for you to liberate yourself and, and, and figure it out and discover it. So now you're going to start seeing a lot of manifestations coming into fruition very, very quickly here, okay? Current energy, let's see. If the, yeah, see something was blocking you. That's gonna, you're, it's, not, it's not much longer. That's the current energy of a situation. It could be that you're blocking somebody because of what you found out. All right, your current energy, Leo, is justice. You want what is rightfully yours. You could also be dealing with some legal issues. The outside energy towards you, so this could be just of the situation or a person, is the Knight of Swords. Someone's coming in quick, wanting to talk to you. The challenge between you and this person is the Eight of Swords. Hmm. The Elk, wow, is the Ace of Swords. There's a lot going on here. A lot of manipulation. A lot of hidden motives, okay? A lot of swords. Um, I, I I'm feeling accusatory, like someone is accusing you. Um, this is something that may have really kept you bound and trapped for quite some time with a lot of conflict, a lot of deceit. It's like almost every word that was spoken created a, a blockage or a problem. Yeah. Whew. From happiness. Dang. Look, at it. it's like literally somebody's fighting their own happiness or trying to block their own happiness. You have to fight for what is yours you have to fight for what you know you deserve because i feel whoever this emperor is and it could just be jealousy but this person is like i don't know why i feel like this person just wants to go up against you 
so you're on a fight for your your peace your harmony your happiness some of you may have there's homecoming on here so some of you may have recently went home or moved back home or or somebody could be coming home but you're seeking emotional stability like you don't want to be in this energy anymore current energy of the situation is the two of swords so it's paused there's a pause you may not be talking to somebody i also feel like again something was revealed something was discovered this truth or it's about to be it's going to liberate you but this was somebody who was in denial and this was a difficult difficult choice that needed to be made yeah five of cups there's a lot of sadness here the hermit you have virgo energy there's a definite ending and or separation isolation this is meant though again to bring light to something to help you heal Wow, the Empress. So, I feel that a connection or a relationship here has ended or there's definitely a separation and silence. But whatever that is, it's somehow connected to you feeling like you are capable of this type of success, okay? Like somebody was trying to make you feel like you're not going to be anything without them type of, type of energy. When in reality, it's almost like having them around you is what was keeping you and preventing you from being successful. I just don't think this person is ready to admit that. You're showing up as justice. You're going to get what is rightfully owed to you. I feel like because you're speaking the truth, there's somebody, you're, you're being honest. You have integrity. You, you're trying to restore balance in a situation. Clarify, please, justice for Leo's energy. This takes a lot of strength and courage, this justice card, because it, it requires accountability, right? Yeah, eight of pentacles. You're like, no, I crossed all my T's. I dot all my I's. Everything is in order. And I feel good about this situation because I know it's going to work out in my favor knight of cups and the six of swords yeah justice sometimes the right thing to do is to walk away and you're walking away here from the devil it's like it's almost like you're putting the devil to shame the light has been shown some of you could be overcoming an addiction so some of you are cutting ties with temptation, cutting ties with the devil, cutting ties with karmic situations and cycles because you're seeing something differently. You're being liberated from whatever was holding you back. The outside energy or person coming towards you, it is a conversation. There is somebody who wants to come in. Um, I feel like they're kind of, they're rushing in. They're impatient. I feel like they can speak really, really well. Clarify, please, what is coming in with this Knight of Swords? Yeah, you're going to have a decision to make. This is going to put you at a crossroads. This Knight of Swords is coming in and you're going to have a decision to make. It's in regards to a wish fulfillment or happiness, something that you're looking for or been praying for. Yeah, death. But it requires you to, to go through an ego death here. That's why you have liberated witch. Perhaps that's why you're a little bit nervous about it because of what it requires. I mean, because you're, you're really closing out something that... I mean, if this is, I'm going to, let's use addiction just to kind of help me explain what I'm seeing here as far as the energy that spirit is showing me. That's like a big life decision. And I'm seeing someone close something out that they really were dependent on and thought they needed in order to get to this level of happiness. And now there's this new opportunity that could be presenting itself to you that is here to help liberate you because some sort of clarity and truth has been revealed in regards to this other situation. It requires you to end it, walk away, go through an unbecoming of self and experience this rebirth. It's going to change your life. Whatever this Knight of Swords is bringing in, 
You are feeling a little bit nervous and uneasy about it, but only because it requires you to step outside of your comfort zone. The Eight of Swords is your struggle. You could be dealing with somebody who's um, in jail. But whatever it was, there's this energy of feeling victimized, trapped, powerless, and stuck. It's all an illusion. And you're trying to break out of that energy here. Yeah, Queen of Cups has to do with emotions being shut off, not addressing certain emotional pains. You, you can't get to the other side without going through it. Yeah, the hanged man. Somebody here doesn't like to be patient. They don't, they don't, it's almost like they feel like they don't have the time to wait for something to grow. So if you don't have the time to wait for something to grow and the time to, you know, stick through the rough times, then you're never going to see growth. You're going to stay in this, this cycle of the eight of swords. Clarify, please. The moon. Yeah. So the challenge here is somebody really, really struggles with going deep. Somebody struggles with going deep and being patient and taking the time that they need to address any um, heartbreak, any emotional trauma, any emotional pains, betrayal. It's like something that they just kind of keep hidden. They keep stuffing it below. This is, I'm going to say it again, this is where addictions are born, right? It's in this energy and there's no judgment here. I mean, we all have our vices. I've definitely um, had my fair share of addictions. But that's how spirit is showing me this energy. And remember, addictions don't have to be alcohol or drugs. It can be. It can be behaviors, belief systems, toxic relationships, right? The inability to believe that we are worthy. You're addicted to that way of thinking. And so the difficulty here is breaking free and allowing oneself the time needed to cocoon themselves and transform. It's not easy to go under your own microscope and review yourself. But that's what liberates you. Yeah, your outcome is the Ace of Swords. It says breakthrough. So you're going to have a breakthrough here on your crown chakra with the truth. And this brings in abundance. Clarify, what comes in with this Ace of Swords for Leo? The Nine of Swords. Yeah, so where you were closed off. The Page of Wands. And the king of swords someone's going to come in come towards you with a conversation that may be very difficult that may be something that it could even have to do with children or a parent right uh but it's like this is a conversation that's difficult to have because it is a conversation about the truth in rejection or betrayal and how someone feels betrayed and why it's caused them to be so closed up and unable to live in their truth or unable to feel safe in their truth. That's This is some deep stuff here. This is also maybe about how somebody's words towards them created this insecurity. Because I'm seeing somebody play with someone's emotions by manipulating words here. Like very childish, manipulative communication. And then there's a breakthrough of recognizing like that was a betrayal. I didn't, you weren't supposed to communicate with me like this and it's not my fault, right? Like this could be verbal abuse, like deep mental emotional abuse or somebody was putting uh, mental magic on somebody and just really kind of playing with them. And you're breaking free from that, Leo, by seeing how this particular third party, whatever that is to you, uh, played a role on your mental health. Yeah, I mean, it's right there. The devil has been here. Whatever this guy has been whispering into your mindset is why you were having a hard time liberating yourself from a cycle that just kind of kept you going around and around and around. But that's all coming to an end. You're receiving some type of information or clarity that's going to set you free. All right, Leo, I'm sending you much love.